John King for the sprawl alongside Paddy, the Paddy Pimbler. Uh, 18 days ahead of K George 90, where you make the. I don't, I don't even like calling it a return or not, but it's a return. It half is, isn't it? Yeah. It is half a return because I haven't fought in a while now. Yeah. But just think, last time I never fought for 10 months, lad. People got a rude awakening. I was the underdog against Ashley Grimshaw, remember? Yeah. I was talking about that fight before, actually. It's. The, the last few fights, uh, Julian Rose and Nad, it, it just seemed like you didn't enjoy it, like you were there to make weight, you, you weren't really there to fight. I mean, I can tell in Dunia as well, you're a lot more cheery. Like, I remember before them fighting too, and you just, it, you didn't want to be there, it was no, just... It was it, rough. Yeah, um, you, you can really tell the difference. Um, and, and, and before that, you know, Jordan, I thought you looked energetic, you looked, you looked like you look now, um, you, you look lean, you look good. But um, before the last two fights, it, it, we were in a pretty sight. It, how much better has it been cutting it's to lightweight? It's been a lot better, you know what I mean? It's, but like, I'm, I'm lighter now yeah. than I was on the Monday morning when I fought Nad. You yeah. know what I mean? I was, I was, I was 77.7 K the Monday morning when I fought Nad, weighing in at 65.8 on the Friday. Yeah. And like... Now I'm lower than 77.7, you yes. know what I mean? And I'm fighting in 18 days at the weight above. Yeah. Everyone's just just a lot different now, you know what I mean? I was just getting in, getting in to, to do fight camps and lose weight, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the Arosa fight, three weeks before that fight, like two and a half weeks the Monday before, 19 days before the fight, 18 days before the weigh, and I was 81 key. And I had to lose 15 key yeah. in 19 days, you know what I mean? It was, it was disgusting to be fair. That's what happens when you end up eating a bit of chocolate and spewing in the cage, innit? <laughs> blood. <laughs> I saw people blood. Yeah, people chatting yeah. blood. <laughs> um, the, the last fight, I, I know you're devastated, pulling out and things like that. But was it a blessing in disguise? Yeah, I think in, in, in the long run it probably was a blessing in disguise. It, it's made me realise the opportunity I've actually got here. Like, yeah. no one's got an opportunity like this in, in this city, in this country in the world, you know what I mean? Yeah. Said it before, I'm not one in a million, I'm one in a billion. Yeah. I can't throw this opportunity away what I've got. Yeah. On, on that night, um, was it, I know you, you next generation is like a family, it must have been nice watching your teammates fight, but yeah, was but it? Yeah, but it was bittersweet, bittersweet yeah. it was, it was bittersweet, it was horrible being there and just like not fighting. And I could walk around and like eat, eat and yeah. drink and that, you know what I mean? I had a few bits of chocolate and that while I'm there, what you can't do when you're fighting, but, you know, it's it, it's horrible being at a fight show. And you, yeah. if you, When you're a fighter, you want to fight, you know what I mean? Especially yeah. when you were due to fight on that card. Yeah. The amount of people what come up to me and said, oh, oh, I can't believe you're not fighting, you're the only reason we bought tickets, you yeah. know what I mean? Some fella come up to me who was at k and said, oh, I bought two k tickets, and when you weren't fighting, he said he didn't even want to come. It was just like... Just uh, lad, I felt a cunt. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I felt bad about it. I yeah. felt terrible. So I'm, I'm just there to make it up to everyone because people bought tickets to watch me fight Nad and perform like a bag of shit. People bought tickets to watch me fight Vlado Sikic and then I couldn't fight. It's time to make up for that. Come Feb 24th. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, this time I got Alex Severe. This in your way. Do you know? Do you know much about him? Um, no, I know he's a good good fighter, I know what I mean. I've watched little one or two of his fights. I don't like going into in depth and watching people and fighting fights like yeah. that's what Paul does, he's my coach and then Ellis does that, you know what I mean? They they watch fight the fights for me and I work on the stuff they want me to work on, but he's a good experienced fighter. He should um I was about to say he shouldn't let nerves get to him but when you walk out in that arena, it's eight and a half thousand, nine thousand people, his, his ass is going to fall out of him. You know what I mean? He's never, he's fought in sports halls and that, and in front of a thousand people, tops, I'd say. And like now he's coming out to a packed stadium, all scouts are screaming at him as he walks out. He's not going to have experienced nothing like it in his life. Ahead of the last fight, um it felt like there was less of a buzz uh, for whatever reason. Did, did you feel that at all? Like not not about you, but about the show. Did you feel like there was a little bit, little bit like less of a buzz? What when I went fighting? Oh, the. Before and after, yeah. Um. It, it definitely like dropped down a lot when you went fighting. But you know, I felt like there was a little bit less of a buzz. Just shows you the star power, doesn't it? Hey, I am the boy. Hey, that's it's that simple. I am the boy. People want to see me fight. 
People just want to see me talk as well. People yeah. love the entrance. Eh? True, yeah. People will just watch it for the entrance, never mind the fight. <laughs> that is true. Um, you were sparring this morning. Look sharp, you look lean. How far are, are you there now? Like, are, you, are you ready to fight? Or are you I'm ready off? to fight now. I'll, if he wants to land at the gym now, I'll beat him up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Any Spurs fan wants to come to the gym now, I'll <laughs> smash your head in. You gang of rats and that linesman, I'll punch your head in, you little roach. I, I, I was going to touch on that, I'll talk about it now. Um, what happened with Spurs? You're not happy about it, are you? No, I'm not happy. <laughs> not happy at all. I hope the la that linesman and the ref can come here now and I'll mufty the pair of them. The gang of rats. And Harry Kane, you little horse look alike. Face is that long, it's like a horse, you little bum. Lost me out on to me and my mate out on two and a half quid. That's penalty in the last five seconds. You know what I mean? It wasn't even a penalty. Little Argentinian cheat jumped on the floor. Little joke. Is that quite you off the fight? <laughs> Flat woke up yesterday and today feeling sick in my stomach. You know what I mean? Feel proper sick over it. Me and Dale, man, should be 1,250 quid up. But then that, that, that linesman just cheats us. I'm going to get you, eh? What's that linesman's name, lad? I know the ref's name is something moss. But like that linesman, I'm gonna get you and your family. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson over here. Lad, I swear, whoever it was, lad, I'm gonna land on his Mars. Eh? <laughs> um, 